All right, let's take a look at how we can insert an engage interaction into our WordPress blog. So if you've ever worked with WordPress and tried to insert a video file, right? So you might click the add video and then you'll navigate to the video file. The best you can really hope for, you know, this method is simply to um, have a link inside of WordPress that'll basically load it into a new window, right? So if I click insert into post, basically I get this link. And if I preview it and click it, this is just a hot link, hot, a hot link to uh, the actual engage file. That works if you wanna you know, send your users to a different page. But if you're trying to embed the entire link into your WordPress, you need to work with the embed code. Now the easiest way I've found to work with that is this little plugin called WP Swift Object. And it really actually makes it a little bit easier. You don't have to copy as much embed code around the, uh, the Swift file. So if using this, this, um, this plugin, all you need to do is copy this one line of code and then just replace the variables. So I'm gonna copy that and I'm gonna come on over here and paste. So basically you leave the, uh, the Swift tag right here alone, you enter a path to your movie and then your width and your height and it's that simple. So once you've had that plugin activated, this is how you can do it. So let's go ahead and just upload my uh, an engage interaction to an FTP, copy that over and then we can see how we can embed it. So whenever I publish, you know, I'll go ahead and publish my final interaction right here. So I'll click publish and we'll publish to the web and I have a little folder on the desktop. So I'll click publish. Now, once it completes, I can go ahead and well, if, if I enter my FTP info, which is what I did, I can actually just FTP directly from engage, which is really helpful, right? You just enter your IP and then your username, password, and then whatever directory you want it or you can go ahead and use an application like an FTP program to upload your files. So here's just an example of a Qt FTP, which is what I like to use for FTP program. And I just copied the engage folder right over to the server. So I have them in the same location, files slash label graphic. So all I need to do is take my domain name slash files label graphic slash engage dot Swift and enter that for the URL in the, uh, in my WordPress. So for the movie, right, I just type in my domain, right, and then I'll just type in the directory, the path that I specified. So files labeled graphic, and I wanna enter the width and the height. And I know that the engage interaction is the slide size is 720 by 540, but my blog page is only 500 width for the, for the content. So I needed to scale it down. So I just scale it down proportionately to 500 by 375. And that's it. That's all I have to put in there to view my file. So let's go ahead and preview. So just click the preview button and it loads up. Oh, it didn't load up. You know why? Because I think I have label graphics Swift and I need to go to slash engage.swift. It's always the path it gets you, right? So click preview. And there we go. So now we have our label graphic all set up. We can even play our video files in it. So it's a great way to sort of include some fun quizzes or activities or interactions in your uh, your blog posts. And don't just have to keep these in your, uh, your e-learning courses. So it's a great plugin. It's called um, WP Swift Object, free download, just insult, insert it in your plugin directory in your WordPress and uh, just use that code, that one line of code right there and enter your parameters.